hold him like a trophy now. You can play with him like this. Scotty, we must save the brick planet. Deer looking like a robot. Not really, I was just kind of lazy to draw his face this time. You can kind of recognize where that face just came from, right? Yeah, deer, you all right over there? Does it look like I'm okay over here? What'd you do to my face? Yeah, it's the worst looking robot face ever. Check this out though. This one isn't, this is kind of cool. So what's up you guys, welcome back to Break Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty and we're doing another review like this, yeah? If you like this new format, let me know in the comments. If you want me to go the old way, let me know too. It'll just take much longer. But you see, I can get more videos out for you as fast as I can, like this right now. Are you a mech fan, robot fan? This could be for you, or it could not be. Is this delicate, or then not? That's pretty delicate, man. I'll say this every single time I do a mech, or I build a robot, or I move it around, they will fall and crumble apart. This one's actually pretty okay. Now this is interesting, because this is from a brand I've never heard of, you may not have ever heard of. Let's just look into it, yeah? You ready, dear? You ready for this? Dear does not compute. All right, you guys, so this is Qualtong. Qualtong, I'm not quite sure how to say it. Q-L-T. This is part of the Mirage Armor series. Yes, there are more. And this robot has no name, but he does have a model number. So we'll just call him the model number. TS30109, 1,436 pieces. So what you're seeing here is the biggest one that I've got. You can go on brickmeupscotty.com, take a look at the rest of the series. There's one more bigger guy and the rest are smaller dudes. I don't know how those ones are, but I can review this one for you. Check it out, this is their booklet. This is the brand logo, the name. Kids fun. Does this look like kids will have fun building this? Your kids will destroy this thing. Please change this logo to a more adult theme and I guarantee you people will just buy it anyway. This is the back. It's pretty close. No, the colors are kind of off. Yeah, this bot guy looks, we'll call him TS, right? TS looks a little bit more vibrant on the booklet. Came out a little dark there. Now what's interesting in the book, in the manual, however you want to call it, is the way you put the pieces together, which is kind of helpful, is they dot where the pieces go. It looks, it's kind of like a crazy rainbow, but there's one issue that I had when I was doing this at home. I didn't have crazy lighting like this. It's actually really hard to see the color of the pieces, but the green, the grays, and the blacks it almost blend together, especially if you have like orangey lighting or you have warm lighting at home, or you're doing this at nighttime and you're looking at it. Man, I had to run outside in daylight to actually see the, oh, that's gray, that's green, and that's black. So you might see a little bit of a mix up of colors in there. I don't know if I have missing pieces. I think there's a couple missing pieces, but maybe I reused them somehow by mistake. I'll do a little like crazy rotation like this. So if you're a robot expert out there, you can let me know in the comments if this is inspired by any anime, I'm not sure. Besides not knowing what color was what when I was trying to do this, I actually had a lot of fun building it. So one thing that I noticed for all mech builds is that you do them in sections, like the arm first, and the legs, and then the body, and then the head totally secure, fine, until they all come together, then that's when the shit goes crazy. Luckily, this guy wasn't too bad. The shoulder parts, I did have to kind of like take apart a little bit to snap it on the ball joints. You'll see like it's kind of on these little ball joints here. Hey, how you doing, yeah? I mean, try to snap it in, man. The thing kind of does fall apart. You do have to be careful with that. And it has a lot of single studs being built on so pieces can fall off pretty easy, but that seems to be the case with every mech I have done so far. Doesn't matter what brand. But look at this guy. This guy actually looks really cool. I really like it. it looks, it doesn't look cheap. He looks pretty good. And this brick is compatible with Lego brick. Quele Tong bricks. Yeah, Lego brick right here. Are they compatible with each other? Clutch is very hard, but hey, it interconnects with each other. There you go. You just have to Try it a little bit to get it off. Lego brick, Quelletong brick. I'm not sure if this is being shared with another brand or not. But anyway, put this down. Okay, let's talk about this bot. So first of all, if he looks kind of weird, that's because he's sitting on a stand. Thank goodness it has a stand. It's pretty cool, it's like see-through. But man, you gotta make sure it's really snug and tight in there. I think over time, if you keep moving around, it will shift and it might fall over. So you have to be careful when you're moving this guy around. However, using the stand, he kind of looks like 
He's got like a, a back problem where he's like a pregnant robot. Now what's actually surprising is that if I take him off the stand, he can actually stand a little bit better. So I'm gonna try it right now without breaking this whole thing apart. Come on, Quailetong, but TS, come on, TS. Yeah, there's the stand. The stand's actually pretty neat. Don't fail me now, TS. You cannot fail me. As you can see, he stands pretty okay on his own. Can't really pose him that well. Arms are a little bit heavy. Oh, look, see, he wants to fall back now. Look, oh, he's gonna fall back. Stand him up straight. It's all about posture. Posture has to be good, my boy. I don't know over time if this thing will really fall apart or not. I need to lie down, Scotty. TS, don't fall asleep on me. Stand up straight, boy. Yeah, if I were you guys, just use a stand, man. He's going to fall and slip and fall over. There he is. No hands, ma. Whew. Okay, so at least you know he can kind of stand, but I'm going to just, for safekeeping, put him back down on his stand and he can sit properly on here. Can I get him on without knocking pieces over? There we go. All right. Ah, feel a little bit better now. Now he's back in that weird position. Head is actually pretty cool. Very simple. I like the look of it. I like the antenna. I like his eyes. Very cyborg looking. It can kind of tilt up and down, but it'll pop off over time. It's just like two studs that's holding him down. Then we go to his body and his chest, which is actually quite surprising. If you lift up his head here, the whole chest area can open up. I was like, oh, cool. It's got a little cockpit there. This can open up. Yeah, I can open him up like that. Open your body. Now, it's kind of hard to see there. Inside, there are two joysticks and you can put a minifigure inside. I haven't tried that yet. You guys want me to try that and see if I can fit a minifigure inside? Okay, let's see if I can put my favorite one from the last set we just reviewed. Naked boy. Let's see if we can fit him inside here. Now, I'm not gonna flush him down because I'll be worried he'll f break this whole set apart. But there he is, you can kind of see him in there. He does fit, minifigure will fit inside as long as they're naked. So you can close this up and be like, yeah, control this robot. I'm liking it so far. Definitely not playable. It will fall apart on you. You have to be very, very careful with the set. Now I like the decoration here on the side, on the top. Got like roller skate thingies there on the side. That's pretty neat. You got this vent design here on the chest and you go down to his groin area that has this pulley rope look to it. I don't know why, please don't ask me. Someone was having fun designing it. You come to his legs, there's a little bit blue there. That's kind of funny. It kind of stands out a little bit. And you come to his knees. Uh, I don't know about the knees, man. They kind of stick out. Yeah, you can see how they protrude out. It's like knives. I don't know. It's, it is like that. I thought I was wrong, but it does stick out like that. I don't know what to think. So we come down to his feet, which I actually do like because they have kind of a tilt on the front and back. So that helps balance him without the stand. But you saw earlier, like I think the surface on this desk is a little bit slippery. So he's like going to slip on it and eat it and break apart. I am not going to do a drop test on this. I guarantee you it'll fall apart and it's just not fair for mech. Clutch is pretty tight. It's like kind of like winners. It's kind of an in-between. It's like I said, design thing. The one single stud stuff can come off easier. Other parts are fine. And we come to the back, which is actually really cool because on the back here, if I turn around, check that out. This is like his backpack area. He's got a bazooka. He's got a machine gun. And speaking of, he's even got another gun here. I guess this is more like a, an assault rifle. I don't know. I don't know my weapons, but check this out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Again, I might have used some wrong colors or had a couple missing pieces here, but you get the overall idea. He can put it in his hand, but he cannot lift the arm up because it's so heavy, it'll just drop back down like this. Don't believe me? See, it's already like bending. The weakest thing about this robot is actually his hands. They're just like these claw pieces. You know what they are, but they're just on a single stud. So it's, they can, the fingers can pop off really easy on this guy, but he can hold the gun there. And then you can take the other guns out here from the back. Let's see if I can do it for you here without breaking him apart. Can I take this one out? Sure can. There we go. Yeah. Oh, this comes down like this. Look at that. There's a lot of thought that went into this set. Brr, brr. Simple design, colorful. You know, again, I don't know if I'm using the right colors or not here. Maybe I'm not. Bazooka. Let's see if I can get this off. I don't want to break it. There we go. Same deal. Yeah, definitely he's not going to be able to hold this because look how I'm going to hold it by that. I mean, I guess I can try. 
I, lo I love this thing. Look at that. It's crazy. I thought it was like a jet pack thing. It's actually a gun holder back there. I'm gonna take out this gun. Let's put the bazooka inside his hands like that. Yeah, it looks a bit, maybe it has to go this way. Yeah, there we go. So he'd be like, to lift up his arm. And I feel like it's gonna fall apart any second now. No, don't rest on a single stud, it'll just fall off. Yeah, see this part here on the elbow is actually just being held by a single piece. I don't know what that's called, but I guess you can kind of pose him like that. You, you probably have to take your time, be patient with this thing and pray that he can kind of hold it like that. Like, that kind of looks cool. Sorry, I'm getting distracted, but now it looks neat, but yeah, I can't really quite make it perfect. Let's get an idea what it looks like. He's one badass robot, pretty cool. All right, so we'll take that down. So look at all that, you get three guns. Got this cool backpack behind him. Now what's cool is on the back here on his by his ass, he's got a sword. They even have a sword in here. Look at that. Yeah, it's a little bit simple to build. It looks so small compared to the guns, but what a great idea. This sword is mightier than your pen. Yeah, the more I play with it and show you guys, the more I kind of like it. Totally display style. This is what he looks like without any of his stuff on. Let's take off the shield again. Shield looks really cool. So look at all that. You got all these crazy accessories. This is what he looks like without anything. So that's quite a surprise. From a brand I've never heard of, it's actually pretty okay. So if you're hesitant about it, there you go. Now you don't have to worry about it. Just, yeah, you might see like a couple colors. Maybe I used the wrong color here, wrong color there. Still looks fine. Then you got this piece here that's been sitting here. This is like a chip pack. I'm guessing it is because it has rockets back here. But the one thing is there's no backstory on these guys. There's no, unless I'm missing something, but they don't specify, they didn't even specify that these were guns until I was building them. Like, are these guns on this back? Oh, cool. They don't even tell you what this is, a jetpack. They don't even tell you how it gets mounted on. I'm not quite sure. I think we can try to, no, it doesn't, I don't think it'll just fit on this back because his back looks like that. The back of this looks like that. How are you supposed to fit this on? I mean, I guess it could. Replace the sword there. Be like that. Well, it looks really kind of odd though. Yeah, you're gonna have to figure that one out yourself if you do buy it. So, let's see if we can put all this back on. There's the pack, by the way, that holds the guns. Very neat. Slot this back in. Oh, did I move? Oh, I just took off his. I took off his thing. See, things will fall apart. Now you can see the guy inside. Look. Oh, his hand came off. There he is. There's naked guy. Right in the bot. Yeah, see? There, it's like a, yeah, it's not secure enough to hand, so they can pop off. That's the only thing that kind of sucks on this guy. This one, you just, careful, don't hit his head, slot it back in. I'm scared when I push down on pieces here, because I just don't know if it will slot in or not. There, like that, there. Yeah, all right. So what do you guys think? Is this cool? Dimension, we have to do dimension on this? Okay. Oh, I'm scared I'm gonna break them. There's a 32 by 32 base plate. I'm gonna put them down, put them down here. Oh, now that's interesting. You can actually lock this whole stand into a base plate. Yeah. I kind of decorate around it. That's pretty cool. Oh, well, now I'm, that was scary right there. Okay, now it's stuck. No, I'm just gonna leave them on there. I don't remove them anymore. All right, this is kind of a guesstimation from side to side. It's around 23 studs like that. If I move them here. So from the side here, if I'm guessing, it's like almost 21, 22 studs. Okay, here's my one by four bricks for the height. I'm going up to about his shoulder to his head right there. Well, I mean, it's a little bit over with the antennas on his ears. Look, if I bend his ears back there. Okay, now we're talking. Now he looks like a sad robot. That is around 27 bricks in height. Add two or three more if you wanna do the antenna parts. So now you have an idea. If this guy belongs in your city, of course he doesn't. He'll look cool in one though. So there you guys go, Kue Le Tongs. Another alternative brick brand that specializes in robots. I have no idea what else they do. Let's research this together, right? You guys enjoy that? Let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And must I do the other boss? Do I have to? Really, you guys like this one? I'm not sure. Anyway, there he is, looking cool and badass. Until next time, you guys, pick me out.
Oh, wait, I'm missing his headpiece. His headpiece is... Where's his antenna? I need to get his antenna. Where is his antenna? Yeah. Thought I was missing your antenna for a second, boy. This is leg band. We twist his leg. Oh, properly. There goes the ho 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 ho. You almost lost him, man. Oh no, the stand is stuck on the plate. How? Okay, there we go. Oh, this one. Okay, one piece is stuck on him. Come on. There we go. Ah, got it. 